Um, and then like uh, Skift or something like that. I don't know, some crazy Irish name, something like that. Uh, but that doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna get into Smashville here. We got PK Chris taking on Headshot. Um, uh, everything here tells me that PK no, Chris should just be. What? We're trying no, to talk no, about I the game. To, I have to fight chat. It's not hey ha hey ha. I've asked. Oh no, it's J Ja. It is J Ja J Ja. I asked him straight up. It is J Ja. I can tell you it's J Ja because I've actually interviewed J Ja before. Shut up, Skiff. Anyways, <laughs> they actually explained where their tag came now. from. They explained where the attack came, come, uh, came from. But yeah, right now, uh, see, so the, I actually thought that, like, we were going to see PK Chris kind of, like, really tear it up here. Uh, just because of, the, you know, how Ness interacts with a lot of, uh, you know, explosions and the, um, you know, any sort of energy projectiles. But right now, man, we're seeing Headshot actually decimate PK Chris right now. Just yeah, not really having a whole lot of answers. untouched at this point. Like, mm -hmm. not even, like, PK Chris has spent half of this time just recovering back to ledge. And yeah. just not letting him get anything started, get anything that he wants any of his options off. He's just completely being shut down. PK Chris might be able to get something started here. Uh, that PK, oh. Oh, PK Thunder oh. could do something and up air going to connect. And just like that, we're actually pretty much even. Nope. Yeah, oh, wow, what a great little, uh, like, threading the needle from Headshot there, getting all the way back to stage, and then having the time to get that back air as well. But, I mean, PK Chris did, still did a pretty good job of getting, you know, at least 115% before losing their stock. So, it's not like uh, what it looked like at the beginning, where Headshot was just, you know, harassing PK Chris off stage for, like, 30 seconds. Yeah, but already off the bat, Headshot baiting out that... I think that's going to be, like, a big aspect of counterplay is, like, uh, PK Chris trying to use uh, Psy Magnet and then Headshot, like, taking advantage and realizing that that is going to be a big option in these matchups and actually baiting it out and using it for punishes. Because I've seen that quite often anytime uh, a Nest player plays against someone with energy projectiles is that that person with an energy projectile will get a few moves absorbed at first and then they'll start pretending to shoot stuff out there and then as soon as the PK or the Psy Magnet comes out they start punching in for it yeah okay but here Good we go headshot air. continue yeah continuing to put on this pressure Ooh, no nope, a... still makes it ah, that was like a battle of the forward airs <laughs> both of them just trying to get something going but yeah, here we go. PK Chris gonna be able to get him off stage. A nice little uh, what is that? Like uh, secret missile? What? What's the actual name for? I forget. Doesn't matter. Back, you're gonna it's take out the second beam. stock. It's homing just homing missile. missile. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, we know. You're an old Ooh. man. Yeah, but here we go. PK Chris getting a lot of damage going. Fantastic. Uh, like his start wasn't very. Oh. At all. And he's already what? off to a great. Uh, he's he's looking to close this out in with a vengeance. Holy crap! Using that side magnet to get away from headshots. Oh no! Looking for that down smash too. PK Ooh. Chris is being pressured so hard, and he's threading through every single one of these options from headshot, Whoa! but not the final one. That charge shot is going to be able to take the stock. PK Chris though, 84% extra credit, looking very very good. So yeah, I thought he was gonna be able to get a little more out of that uh that full rage going, but man, no headshot just continued to apply a lot of pressure here. But even then, 84% going on this final stock right now, and PK Chris is still just hounding him. Look at this damage, and oh, that's gonna be it. And yeah, the uh, the yo yo off stage gonna catch him looking for those magnet hands, and he's not going to be able to make it back despite a I wouldn't call it a weak start but it was certainly a it was certainly it was a slow start and it was a, it was a very slow start thank you uh, it was a slow PK start chris. for for pika chris yeah yeah it was a very slow start and then the the engine started going the wheels started turning and we saw some beautiful plays off stage from this nest player Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, uh, Chris uh, just did a fantastic job, and that's the thing that you get, like, um, when you start to get later into the bracket, you start to kind of really see who who's a great player, right? It is like, even if you get off to a slow start, can you bring it back? And Chris absolutely did that, kind of showed what kind of mentality they have getting into this. Because I know Samus, especially when Samus gets an early start, um, especially in this Wi-Fi era, it can be very, you know, intimidating, and it can be tough to kind of, like, get your, get your headset right um or your mindset not your headset your but headset. <laughs> well, i mean i don't know maybe if your headset's not like on both ears i mean that could be really uh mess that could be messing you up too in bracket but no um yeah it's, it's kind of it could be tough to get your uh, your mindset right and chris did a fantastic job of just kind of bunkering down not letting the situation get to him and just finding a way to turn it around so great stuff all around there but we're gonna be getting to this game too we got a counter pick in headshots favor so let's see if he can I'm take it to a stage where he can be able to blow it up we might see a stage along the lines of Kalos, maybe Yoshi's or Bowser. 
Um, just like, uh, oh, PS2 works too. Um, <laughs> I was thinking, like, that was your next any... guess, right? Yes, 100%. <laughs> I was just thinking any stage that's not Smashville, basically. Mm -hmm. Because that is where Samus wants to go in this situation. Because Ness is good at zoning. Samus is better. Uh, and that's, yeah. the, that's the biggest thing, is that Ness is very good at both boxing and zoning. Samus is very good at zoning. So Headshot, more often than not, is going to want to be oh, as far away from the little psychic child as possible. Damn, that's like three uh, screw attacks in a row, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> These screw attacks, what is going on, Headshot? You good? Headshot might be starting to panic a little bit. These up airs are connected. Ooh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 o
And then just kind of catching him lacking out there. I mean, we've seen uh, PK Chris kind of take his time off stage a few times now. And it looks like Headshot just said, hey, man, I'm kind of done letting you do what you want out there. Hitting himself with the PK Thunder to escape the ledge situation. Wow, Headshot, very good decision making the, the screw attack. Getting yeah, a grab, F throw, and he's setting himself up very well with central stage positioning, but he just gets it all taken away by that back throw, and now he's in a very, very, very Ooh. tenuous situation being off stage, but the, uh, the yo-yo doesn't do it. Ooh, that was a brave option, and actually going to be able to get through the yo-yo screw attack uh, just being uh, a little too good there. Screw attack is very, very good. It's very uh, good, very good. Speaking of very good, that back air is also a fantastic kill option. Gonna mm -hmm. connect with it and take headshot second stock. He is now on winner's side life. Yeah, we'll see though. I mean, 91%. We've seen headshot take some pretty good stocks at around this percentage here. Oh, Ness is just too Ooh. tiny. Not gonna get caught by the up smash. It's very unfortunate for headshot, but a lucky break for PK Chris. Uh, got another lease on this stock. Uh, this stock's life can get a little more extra credit. 48% is looking pretty good right now, but that's not going to be enough if uh, Headshot is able to take the stock. It's not going to be enough to the point where, like, Headshot should be really nervous, you know? Yeah. Woo! Uh, ooh, that was... That shield! Woo! That shield! <laughs> that shield! That parry saved his life! Didn't... Uh -oh. If it, that wasn't a parry, that was a broken shield. Absolutely mm -hmm. nuts! PK Chris setting no! that up! Nair, headshot, you need to be very careful going for those up smashes. Ness is too short. He Listen, I know, I know Ness got a big head, but like he's too short. That's twice now that you've missed the up smash. You got to go with another option. Stop, stop going with that. It's, it's not working. Hopefully they recognize that. Okay, a little bit of a charge shot there. Not going to kill. 172 on Smashville. That's absolutely insane. Oh, oh they missed themselves. <laughs> Okay, just hey. like that, headshot could be back in this with, with some insane conversions, but it's not going to matter. Back air, sweet spot, going to connect. PK Chris takes it. 2-1 over headshot. And the early lead curse is gone, man. I thought we were going to see a bit of a turnaround from headshot there once again. Uh, but no, PK Chris finally starting off hot and 